okay welcome what I will try to show you is how to use polycat 9 to perform hydrostatic analysis over a uh, previously created delgit file in this case you can only use any other package you want well we start here with a model in delgit and we export it using in this case the STL file, the STL option, and we take the ASCII option of STL to export. Okay, once we have the file created, we go to Polycat and import it into the Polycat screen. I take the file and I open it. Here we are. This is a demi hull. It is a 3D polygon. What we will do now is to mirror it to get an entire hull. I will open previously the attributes screen. Here, this is the attributes screen. You open it with this command and we take the mirror command and move the mirror plane to zero and then we make a copy and mirror selection okay now we have the complete hull in two entities these still two different entities left and the right hull what we will do now is to join these two demi holes into just one. So I select them by pressing the control key and using the left key of the mouse. And then I press the right key of the mouse and take this option here, combine polygons. Okay, now we have just one polygon and we can play with it. Well, I will set a name here and a color also. <coughs> well, if we want to change the visualization of the screen, we can use this other window entities and we select what we want to change and we change here the visualization of that entity okay we have here our hull and we are going to perform some hydrostatics analysis what I do is to select the my entity and I go to calculation and then we select here section ar area curves now we can do some sectional areas. I take here full area and I set different drops. Setting different drops, you click here calculate and you have all the sectional area groups and all the data for each drug here you can use this data to copy past to uh, I don't know uh, a spreadsheet or a text file just copy past that's all and you can get your own graphics and so well and what we will do here is to make a free body elastatics and GZ curve. <coughs> this is the, the funny part. Okay, here we set. You have two different options to manage displacement. I will take the first one and set displacement. This data comes from Delphi. 
or your your package and here you have four different options to manage the center of gravity okay the let's one the, the first one lets you to fix the vertical center of gravity I will fix it also with uh, del ship data you can see here how the the center of gravity goes down to the value that I setting I'm setting here and uh, you also can control the electrostatic data here for example drought if I set the correct displacement here I have the correct drought here and also you have the volume the longitudinal center of buoyancy and the coefficients the uh, prismatic coefficient here <coughs> and uh, you know all other values well um, uh, before going further I will show you how can we use these other options to control the center of gravity for example this second option lets you fix a trim you can set here a different trim and check what happens to the hull for example if you want to see the position of the hull previous to to start planning you can also start um, show here the underwater sections and uh, okay uh, let's try another option of the center of gravity for example this one lets you change the transversal center of gravity for example to take care about the crew position I change it and if we check from the front we see that the center of gravity shifted to the left here or to port well um, returning to the first option I set the vertical center of gravity and let the polycat 9 to perform or to or to calculate the other values and what I will do now is to draw the GZ curve of this wall. What I'm doing now is to set in some other healing values. Actually, uh, actually Polycat just calculate the GZ curve until 19 degrees you can't pass over 19 degrees but it will be fixed by Marcus Marcus Ball the author he will fix it and you will you will do the entire curve well I calculate the curve here here we are this is the, the, the curve and this is the data and these are the the different heel angles well the funny part here is that you can click on the curve and shift or drag your mouse by clicking and you can see how the hull heals and how changes the underwater body always keeping the displacement that is fixed and varying for example the trim to keep aligning the center of gravity with the buoyancy center 
so this is what you can do of course you can do it also with any of the initial conditions set in here for example if you start with um, a shift to the left center of gravity you can perform a GZ curve for that condition and you will see how the GZ arm changes here and uh, uh, also you can navigate over the different healing angles by clicking here and moving with the with the keyboard you can check when the deck goes to water or where is your maximum GZ value it is here for me at 30 okay that's all please post your comments